This is the quick evaluation of the Sheffield Rogue fixed blade knife. I got this knife from Walmart for around like 20 bucks and my theory of use for this product is a survival blade. Primary uh, theory of use as I just mentioned was for a survival blade. Specs weight is 13 ounces. The overall length is 14 inches. The blade length is 8.5 inches. The materials is a 440 stainless steel and it has a welded rat tail tang as you can clearly see. Grade scale 1 out of 10. Uh, and you can see why. It's not a full tang, it's a welded rat tail tang. This thing, it even says on the package to not hit the back of the blade. So there is absolutely no way I am going to use this thing as a survival knife. Uh, it'll be lucky to get put up on a shelf somewhere as far as I'm concerned. Positive aspects. Uh, it looks good and it comes with a fire steel and a sharpener and that's it. Negative aspects. This product has a welded on rat tail tang subject to failing. Manufacturer even recommends not batoning with it as I've mentioned before. So what good is it if you can't use it for a survival knife and that's what they're advertising it for. Word of mouth on YouTube is mostly bad. Uh, my recommendations to the manufacturer is to, it's simple, it's a very simple one and one that they should be able to pull off and probably get away with it cheaper. Make the blade full tang. My recommendations to the viewer, I do not, let me repeat that, I do not recommend this product for the simple reason of it's not safe. Anyone with any kind of sense can take one look at this knife and tell that it is not safe to use as a survival blade. I do not know what Sheffield was thinking when they did this. They offer another Sheffield Rogue, a smaller one, uh, and it's the same way. So I do not recommend, this, go, this will serve as the QE for the other Rogue as well. Uh, it's just amazing to me and if I had it looked really cool when I seen it at Walmart and I should have known better I mean I was foolish I, I just assumed and then I happened upon another guy's review of it uh, on YouTube and he showed where the you know he undid the handle and I was just amazed um, that was a good catch on his part I wish I would have done my part and caught it myself but anyways, I, like I said, if you, there's probably people buying this and you need to be aware of it. Be very, very careful. I would not recommend batoning or chopping or anything like that with this knife. Uh, it's just best just to, to retire this thing and go spend some money on Amazon.com and get you something better.